Um, this is me, Stavaj3026, or any other names that people might know me by. Um, this is just a quick little video on why people feel the need to lie. Why? Because last, well, I'll start off telling you, put a little bit of music on in the background. Um, but I'll start off by saying, you know, some of you might know that a little while ago, I was kind of seeing somebody and then all of a sudden, you know, we went away for a weekend and things went a bit pear-shaped. Now, she told me one reason, I'm not obviously going to mention any names, but she told me one reason um, that she was still in love with her ex. Now, I have since found out that was bullshit and I found this out last night wasn't because she was still in love with her ex it was a simple fact she didn't fancy us fair enough why lie why lie to my face you know it's it winds us up why do people f need, feel the need to lie i'm a human being i've got feelings you know i've got a heart in here you know i know i'm a fat bugger i mean look but I'm a human being. I have feelings as well. So why lie? Would you like it if I lied to you? Would any of you out there like it if I said, oh yeah, you know, I fancy you, I love you to bits, and then I just dropped you like that? No, you wouldn't. So why why do it to me? I'm a human being with feelings. You know, I've got a heart. I do love. Okay, I might fall in love a bit easy, and, you know, I might say to somebody pretty quickly, you know, I do miss the affection. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I'm being honest. I might talk a little bit about my past. I'm being honest. I'd rather be open and honest than hide things and lie. There is no need for lying. Life isn't a test. So you don't need to cheat or lie. You don't need to. Just the same as you don't need to steal either. You don't need to do any of that shit. I'm sorry, but you don't need to do any of that bullshit. If you're honest with people, people will love you for the person that you truly are. If you lie, people ain't gonna want, you know, people ain't gonna want you in the life. And, you know, in all honesty, if you're gonna be an arsehole and be a fucking dickhead and do what, you know, say things and shit like that and lie, then people wouldn't even want to piss on you if you were on fire. That is how strongly some people feel about lying. I feel strongly about lying. I've been lied to many a time. And last night was the last straw. And I only found out through my own curiosity. I didn't get told this, I found this out. Last night it was like, you know, I, I know people that she knows and whatever. And all of a sudden it started being a bit awkward towards me, a bit strange. And I was like, well, why? Why? And it turns out she was already talking to another bloke whilst she was kind of seeing me. And she's got together with him now. So that's just, to me, that is just lying, playing out lying. And I knew something was up straight away when the people who I knew who knew her just all of a sudden changed towards me. I'd rather somebody say, oh yeah, X, Y, Z, she's got another fella or whatever. I'd have been like, yeah, okay, fair enough. We don't really talk anymore anyway, so there's no point. But it's just the fact that people can lie to your face. People can just downright lie to your face. Or just make it awkward when there's no need. There's no need for any awkwardness in the world. I'm sorry, but there isn't. I mean, I know some people might get a kick out of it. Oh, I made that situation awkward. Uh, he feels a dick, you know. There's no need for it. Just like the same, that there's no need for anybody to go and try and steal other people's fellas or women. You know, there's no need for that. If you're horny, have a wank. If, you know, if you still, if that's not enough, go and see a fucking prostitute or an escort. You know, there's no need to go around trying to nick other people's, you know, boyfriends and girlfriends. There's no need. There's no need for lying. There's no need for cheating. There's no need for stealing. You know what I mean? There is just no fucking need, and I am sorry, I know I'm swearing a lot in this video, but it fucks me off. It really, really does, and if it wasn't for the music, Avicii, if it wasn't for that, to be honest, I'd probably lose it even more. 
but you know just last night I found it was the last straw you know it hurt a bit it hurt a bit and it felt as if the they were embarrassed to be seen with me if that makes sense because we met once in public and then after that it was never in public never so it's like are you embarrassed to be seen with me I mean okay I'm not the best looking fella in the world don't worry I'm not going to take my top off this time but I'm not the best looking fella in the world I'll openly admit that but I'm not the worst looking either and anyway it's what's in here that counts it's the personality, the heart, the love. That's what counts. It's not this. This is nice. You know, having the looks is nice. Having a big dick, it's nice. But what's all that without, you know, without having a nice personality? Because you ain't going to get anybody. It's going to be a quick shag and then they disappear. I don't want that. And I'm sure none of you do. I know it might be, oh, well, I'm doing that now and all oh, this bullshit. But deep down, is that what you really want? Or are you just doing it to satisfy yourself? Sit down and think. I bet you any money you're just doing it to satisfy yourself. It's not what you really want at all. Because at the end of the day, every single person who watches this video wants exactly the same as I do. You know, we all want to feel loved. We all want to have a cuddle. And a kiss and be shown sure affection uh, there, there. affection every now and again, don't we? We all do. Do I miss affection? Because I've been single two years this year. Do I miss it? By God I do. Some nights I lay in bed and I can't sleep because I want to cuddle. I start cuddling my red blanket. I fall asleep then because I'm cuddling something. I'm not ashamed to admit that. If I had a cuddly toy, I'd probably cuddle that and fall asleep. You know? So... Just think on people, think on. Everybody has feelings. Everybody has feelings. Not everybody has a heart, I'll say that now. Because I know some people who instead of having a heart here, they have a fucking swinging brick. You know, and that goes for the haters as well. I know you don't have hearts either. You either just hide behind a fucking keyboard or you've got a swinging bastard brick. Well I'm sorry, but if you don't like me, I'll slate you. If you're still not happy, fuck off. The door is there. The door is there and there. And you know where the block and delete button is. Simple as that. Simple as that. If you're not happy with something, talk to the person. If you're still not happy, just say, look, I can't be dealing with this, walk away. Don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal. Just be the person you want to be. Don't try and please other people, just please yourself. You are priority. You always look after number one. I make the mistake, I don't look after number one. I never have looked after number one. I put every single one of you before me. I would lend out my last tenner or 20 quid to any one of you. Seriously, I would. I would go without food for a week to make somebody else happy. I have gladly would do it. In fact, I've done it in the past. I've done it in the past. That's a nice, loving, kind of human being. Not anybody who wants to lie, cheat and steal and or even shag their way through life. Doesn't work like that. Does not work like that at all. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Be yourself and people will go far. Now it's like people might slate me at times. I've just got a new job. Now I've in care, so I'm going to be a carer. Um, I've also got an interview on Wednesday for a carer again. That's going to be in the care home. So fingers crossed I get that, because I'd love to work in a care home, you know. I looked after my nan and granddad for God knows how long. For about 18, well no not 18 years, sorry, maybe about 15 years. Until I moved away down here. I did that, not because I had to. Because I wanted to. See, I've got a heart. I care for the people. If anybody needs help, I'm there. If I'm out in town and somebody needs help, I'll help them. Why can't more people be like that? Why can't more people just have a bit of common sense and a bit of heart and say, you know, they're struggling a bit. I'll put my plans a little bit aside and I'll go and help them. Yeah? It doesn't take a lot, does it? 
doesn't take a lot at all. All it takes is a few kind words to come from here, come out of here, and use this. That's all it takes. Now I know I've had a good rant this video, so I'll end it now. I'll end it on a high note. You know, I know some of you might love me, as I say, you might hate me. At the end of the day, if you love me, fantastic, I love you too. If you hate me, I don't care. I'll slay every single hater. I will have words with every single hater. I wouldn't go as far as violence, because I'm not a violent person. But if you hate me, say something. Talk to me. I'm going to see if we can work it out. If not, the exits are here. Here and here. No, I'm joking. They're only there. So, this has been me, Stephen J3026, Stephen James Peter Johns, whatever you want to know me as. And, yeah. So, just remember, don't lie, don't steal, don't cheat, just be honest. That's all. Be honest, be loving, be kind, be caring, and people will love you for it. Okay? People will love you for it. Just be honest. If you don't like the way I look, okay, fair enough. It's your opinion. I personally don't think I'm a bad looking blog. I'm not the best. I'm not going to win Mr. World, am I? I mean, come on, I'm Mr. Universe. I'm in luck. I've got bingo wings. I ain't bothered. So just think on. Kind words go a long way. But it's the kind people who are sometimes easily forgotten. The nasty words, they stay with you. They stay in here. I can more or less remember every single nasty word that somebody's ever said to me. Do I like being like that? No, I don't. I hate it. But just think on. Kindness goes a long way in this life. So be kind, be loving, and be caring. And most of all, sometimes you've got to be mean and put yourself first. Alright, don't make the same mistakes I've done. And don't end up in the same position as I have. Alright, so, as I say, I've been Steve OJ3026. Peace out, people. And I shall speak to you all very, very soon. Mwah!